Dobby, are you excited about the big move? No comment. And so we find ourselves at the new location of Bristol Independent Gaming, where we'll be sharing our premises with the nice folks of Trade Windows. But uh, don't worry, there will be our Bristol Independent Gaming sign up here, and this is going to be the place. It's going to be wonderful. So, but that being said, with only with only three days left to go before we have to open, there is still a humongous amount of work to do, and it is an absolute mess in here at the moment. Some paint there, but here we go. So you come through the entrance, and we go up, up, up the stairs. There's Jim's coffee. He forgot that. I'll take that to him. But here we go. Up, up, up the stairs we go, and here we are. One, two, three. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Toilet facilities here for the public, and here we go. Coming into the main gaming hall here. And as you can see, we still have no lights, but never mind. Um, the Throne of Terror was not built in a single day, and neither shall Bristol Independent Gaming. But here we are. Loads to do, but this will be the main gaming hall there. And then, unlike the old premises, we'll have the shop in the sort of same location. So that's going to be the shop. Buy all your drinks and snacks. I'm sure Jim's hiding around there somewhere, but we'll take him his coffee in a minute. And there we go. This will be the big gaming hall. And yeah, so tomorrow or Tuesday, we've got lights coming in. We've got roof tiles to be fitted. Been busily laying carpets everywhere. So still loads to do, as you can see. Absolutely loads. But um, we did want a bit of a grand opening, but uh, due to... Due to parameters which are out of the hands of any mere man. Uh, sadly, that is not going to be the case, but never mind. We'll be doing a soft open where we'll be open, ready for business, but still with a humongous amount of stuff to do. But it's all part of the process. It's going to be, it's going to be good. But we've got, so we've got the main gaming hall here. And then in here, this is going to be my, this is going to be my favorite room, I think. We've got... This is going to be, we're going to have a couple of tables set up in here and we're going to have board games and rule books and everywhere. Obviously we've got Narsil coming with us as well. But uh, this is going to be board game room, this is going to be geek room, it's going to be D&D &D in here. And maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of battle report filming going on in here as well. But that'll be a conversation for another day. But there we go. That's the state of the operation at the moment. Oh, and then back here as well we're going to have a... Again, we're going to have a hobby room in here. This is going to be lovely, where people can come. And it's going to be a regular occurrence where we can have people over just to hobby, you see. So that's going to be all very nice. But as you can see, it looks a little bit like a titan has come walking through here at the moment. But it's all going to be positive. Hello, lady. It's all going to be brilliant. It's going to be big. And it's going to be awesome. And so, in the next chapter of our epic saga, Jim and I have just returned to Old Big in the van from the new place to find that, well, the sign has disappeared. So the, Br the Bristol Independent Gaming sign is now en route to the new place to be fitted, ready for the day where we get to open. But that's the next thing going on. So, pretty emotional, I suppose. Bristol Independent Gaming has always been here ever since they started the business in Bristol. But, you know... Life goes on, times move forwards to bigger and better adventures. And now as Zinch, weaver of fates, casts his slippery gaze upon the store, things are starting to disappear. It's all starting to change, shelves are disappearing. As you can see, cardboard boxes are being used at the moment and everything is all over the place, but... Oh, there is a lot to do, but it's all looking good, and it's all moving in the right direction. So it's the end of another long day here at Original Big as we're getting ready for the big move, and it's looking a little bit, I mean, a little bit empty, a little bit sparse, a little bit scattered here in the warehouse. But uh, Ellen, the boss, she's asked me to box up some of my favourite sort of selection, uh, selection set pieces of of terrain to to um. To make the year uh, to to lead the charge at the at the new venue to be the first sets to appear on the new table. So I've boxed up some some sets of stuff here. This is my sort of a, this is a good old generic generic battle mat here with some of my favourite pieces in there. But then we've got my favourite marshy la Martian landscape here as well with the 
with our favourite modular Infinity, Star Wars, Legion, and uh, rocks and sci-fi goodies in there. Over there at the back, this box, my favourite bombed out city set uh, with the nice ruined smoking craters and propaganda posters on the building. This lovely new concrete city mat that, from Geek Villain Gaming that we've just acquired here with my favourite Imperial Outpost and uh, landing zone stuff going on in there. And the jungle over here seems to be a favourite with the players at the moment. Um, some nice jungly trees and ruins in there and the lava field with the volcanoes and the smoking geysers and the gothic ruins the classic gothic ruins always a favorite well many many systems to cover here we could we can do 40k with these we can do some age of sigma with the jungle and the generic stuff over there and but of course over here we need something a little bit more specialist we've got the this lovely acid house box here Absolutely chock full of bits for um, Necromunda or Infinity, things like that. And of course, we've gone for the for the IC for the IC cityscape there for that to give it a nice cold sci-fi feel. But uh, and even here, this box is full of my favourite selection of the of the Lord of the Rings stuff. With again another another lovely battle map by Geek Villain there. Got uh, some ruins and some trees and a nice river feature in there as well. And that's going to be good. A couple of extra bits in there because that's going to be good for um, for war machine hordes. And um, what also we could do, um, oh, what's it called? Kings of War and all sorts of good stuff anyway. Anyway, so this is my favourite selection of terrain that was pretty much to hand at the moment. So this is going to be the stuff that's going to lead the charge into the new place. But for now, it's... Well, it's closing up time here. I am the last one here, so we're going to say goodnight to Original Big for now and um, pick this up again tomorrow morning. And so it's, it's Tuesday morning and this is the state of things at the moment, looking like a bare, empty warehouse. It's looking, feeling pretty chaotic at the moment, but uh, you know what they say, chaos is a ladder. One which now we must climb. Things are happening over here. Things are happening back here. Stuff is happening up here. And stuff is happening over here. And it's boxes everywhere. Boxes here, boxes there. All I can see and feel is boxes when I close my eyes, when I dream at night. Boxes haunt my every moment, but but it is a necessary evil, you see. These beautiful, rough cardboard vessels of majesty are here to transport us into new and bigger times. But that is the state of OG Big at the moment. This is the shop and, well, I'm sure it'll look nice when it's finished. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. <gasps> bubble, 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 bubble. So we're here standing alone at 10.30 p.m. on Tuesday evening at OG Big, getting ready to getting ready to say goodnight. The last lovely folks who were gaming here have left, left about five minutes ago to, to this rather sparse and rather empty, empty warehouse here. But we had a couple of 40k tables going on over there. Some Moonstone played over there, and we had a little bit of 40k AOS in the corner over there as well. But not only that, we had the very last hobby night here. Very nice last hobby night at OG Big. Yeah, I, I was taking part, yeah, and this is my stuff here. Where I've been painting up some clansmen for one of my saga war bands. However, the hour is late, and Jim is on his way over with the van for us to start moving all the stock from the shop over to the new big and so we're going to be busy doing that and then we'll be we'll be hitting the lights and saying good night and farewell to to old original big here and so this is by no means all of the stock but uh this is one van load loaded up and uh ready to go Feeling a lot like Father Christmas right now, taking all the gifts over to the new place, but you know, maybe another three or four of these van trips and I should be everything over there, but you know, what can... So, still tons and tons to do, but um, it's by no means going to be a grand opening, but you know, what can men do against such reckless hate? 
things I'll have to do for now. And well, here we are then, out of time, and saying goodnight one last time to the old Big. Good night, Big. So here we are then, it's Wednesday morning and we're at, we're at New Big. And, uh, well, Jim and I left old OG Big at 11 o'clock last night with a van full of stuff and we were here till 3.30 in the morning uh, getting things ready, but we are by no means ready, really. Um, let me go in and uh, show you what we mean. Another long day and it's finally dinner time here at New Big. Um, God knows what time it is, but uh, haven't showed you anything of the place being started today, mainly because it was so damn terrifying. Um, it was halfway between a shop and a and a building site, but uh, get a chance once everybody's left to um, give you a little bit of a tour. But for now, I thought I'd show you show you chips um, because people like chips and got to keep it things positive after. Oh. And the next chapter of our epic saga finds Jim and I back at OG Big loading up the van with paint. Uh, no paint at the new place at the moment, so that's what we're doing right now. So at the end of the first day of New Big, this is the state of the situation at the moment. Part of the club still looking like a building site, but there's happy war gamers over there enjoying the tables, and the shop is coming on nicely. Still tons to do, lots of shelves to build, but we've got all our paint and the shelves are starting to come alive. So while it's nowhere near finished, we are functional to say the least. So and that's what's important right now. We didn't have a choice. Just got to keep going, keep one's head down, keep plodding along. Primo Victoria. So it's Saturday morning here at New Big. And the shop is beginning to come alive. It's, uh, we've got a few bookings in today as well. We've got some wall caster being played, some sharp practice. And my task of the day is building shelves. Okay, so here we are. It's Tuesday daytime and it's bloody boiling here. We've got all the fans on the go. But uh, things are really starting to come together, starting to come alive. Table set up for gaming tonight. We've got a couple of moonstone tables here tonight. Lovely little game over there. Some infinity using some of my favorite little pieces of terrain over here. Really like this stuff. Love this cold, wintry mat as well. As you know, if you know me, then you'll know that winter, anything wintry, is a serious vibe. But, and some good old classic 40k stuff over here as well. Really like the lava and the ancient runes and things but uh, as you can see the shop is coming alive as well it's really starting to come together still lots of things in boxes to sort out but it's certainly getting there still lots to do lots to do Jim is gonna be laying down more carpets as you can see there and we've got more shelves to build but uh, but feeling positive and feeling good just a little bit bloody warm it's Wednesday evening here at New Big and it was chip night again. We had chips again, so I'm full of chips and now we're going to wash it down with some coffee. I'm not really sure when I'm going to end this little uh, this little big video series of mine, but um, at some point soon anyway. Still plenty of games going on over there and lots, to, still lots to do, but the shop is coming alive. But um, still a little bit more we can show you, but um, uh, soon it'll be time to just... Send this little venture on its merry way and check in in a, in a little while. So in the next chapter of the big move, I've actually got a day, out, well, an afternoon off. So I'm enjoying a nice little game of 40k here with one of my bestest, bestest Warhammer friends, Janky James. Say hi, Janky James. Hi. And he's playing his beautiful Great Knights Army. So it's, um, this is actually the first time Forge Phobos are hitting the table with the new book. And it is... Absolutely revolting. You've played Admate before, haven't you, James? Yeah. They're um It's a bit easier on the other side of the table. It's it's brutal stuff, it really is. But uh can't take too long because I've got to go back to work this evening, but just thought I would check in and see how we're all doing here.
So another day here over at Big very shortly. It's getting late now. We've had the lovely folks of Vanguard in tonight and they're packing up all their terrain and I've got a nice cup of tea over here. And in other news, Jim has 3D printed a bolt pistol. Are you ready, Nerglings? Aye, aye, Captain! I can hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh, who lives in a pineapple down in the warp? Gargle rot deep. Who drowned every soul on Atlantis warp? Gargle rot deep. A bloated and swollen demon princes his fate. Gargle rot deep. With revoltedly resilient and operating blades. Gargle rot. Ready? Gargle rot deep. Gargle rot deep. Gargle rot deep. Gargle rot deep. There we are then, so another week over at New Big, and to be honest, still loads to do, but we're getting the rest of the tables over here, the rest of the stock there. I was building some more shelves today, um, but really, from now, it's just going to be a case of just plodding along, getting things out and getting it all sort of... Yeah, all sort of moving forwards, which is going to be a slow process, but for now, I think we're going to wrap up this little video. The big move, the move has been big, and it has now happened. So, the next chapter, I don't think, really really fits into that. So, so we're going to wrap it up there. But this is the state of the shop, looking lovely. I'm about to finish my shift. I've got a game against uh, one of my favourite people here, Jose, and his... His Death Guard. This is going to be the first time I'm going to be fighting Mortarian. Do you want to say hello, Jose? Hello. That's Jose. <laughs> and, but there we go then. So we're going to get a nice cup of tea. We're going to play some 40k. And maybe in a little while we'll see another video uh, featuring Bristol Independent Gaming. All finished. But for now, that is the big move. Over. Oh, and I also forgot, of course, as always, whoever you are, thank you very, very much for joining me today. I'm Winter Wizard, and for now, keep it frosty.